Oh god. <laughs> right. So this is my first Valentine's Day in nine years. That was actually given something I did date a guy and he broke up with me two days after Valentine's Day and didn't give me anything for it. Sorry, you know. But so David told me that I had to get up early to catch the post because he'd ordered a DVD and he didn't want it to go to his house because his parents got up late and they wouldn't answer the door because he wanted because we're gonna watch Suicide Squad tonight. So I got up at half nine, really knackered, I like, tried to sleep on the sofa and my neck hurt and I said, look. The post has come, nothing has come going back to bed. And he was like, oh, okay. You know, I said, oh, yeah, I've got two films. You can just watch both. He's like, yeah, yeah, fine. Came downstairs this evening because I was working in my room. I was applying for jobs, etc. today. Walked downstairs and there's a, like a little slip saying, we've left something on your front step. So I was like, okay, open the door. Found this box. I've never ever ever received flowers through the post before. I was so excited. And um I got like a massive bunch of roses. Like oh my god. I couldn't believe it. I got the sweetest card. I won't read it because it's a bit personal, but <laughs> it's just I'm just blown away. I have to get ready because I'm going to see him later. But the nicest surprise. And he knows I love Ed Sheeran. I'll just read you a little bit of the card. He knows I love Ed Sheeran. My favourite song is Don't by Ed Sheeran. So he put, so don't forget what you mean to me because I'm thinking out loud because I'm falling in love with the shape of you. So come on, be my baby. <laughs> it's so good. He's such a sweetie. Oh, so special. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much topped any Valentine's Day I've ever had with anyone. Yeah, so good. <laughs> so David picked me up and um, on the way back we ordered Chinese, not Chinese, Indian. So he's gone to pick it up because the road was closed and we couldn't get down there. So he's got us walking. I know it's a bit like walking. So as well as getting these flowers, it's got me presents and a beautiful card. Oh. He's such a sweet one. I told him that my family do clues on presents. So he gave me three clues. He wants me to work it out one is away. I literally have no idea. It says there's three clues. So clue number one. A picture says a thousand words. It's a form of rubbish, or is it money? It's knowledge and a form of entertainment. It feels like a, like a ring-bound book of something, but I, I have no idea. I love how he like remembers little things that I tell him, and then he kind of like goes off them, which is so sweet. He's dressed so nicely as well. I'll film him later. He's wearing like a shirt and tie. I've got a dress on. It's, I'm already just at his house, but it's just so lovely. He's he's amazing. Um, have a fun time today. Hope you have a lovely evening with me and enjoy your present. <laughs> I got him something tiny. I feel really bad. <laughs> oh, but he's so sweet. Best Valentine's Day ever. Ever 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 ever. So David just dropped me home because he has to work tomorrow <clears throat> and his mate is picking him up from his house to go to the job so his mate like can't come here and pick him up and where they're working they don't want too many cars which is fine so what, what he got me the present was he made like a scrapbook of like our time together so far even though we've only been dating for like just over a week he is like he's the sweetest guy so, so with the clues, <clears throat> so a picture says a thousand words, because it's like a, there's pictures in it. It's a form of rubbish, or is it money? So like scrap, you know, one man's rubbish is another man's, you know, treasure. And it's knowledge, a form of entertainment, which the book is. He's so clever. I like, like, harder clues, because then it's more exciting to guess. So, um, 
there's us on the front and then as you go through it's like these two pictures are the first pictures that we liked of each other on PRF and um we played cards and we kept our receipt when we went to dinner so yeah we kept a little bit of the wrapping paper of the presents that we gave each other this evening so yeah it's like the sweetest thing. I don't think anyone understands what something like personal like this means to me because it's the kind of thing I would make. Um, apparently his friend Joe told him it was coming on too strong. Joe, if you're watching, you're wrong, mate. It's absolutely perfect and beautiful and it's the kind of thing that I love because there w won't be anything else like it ever. And yeah, he could have waited longer to put pictures in it but we can now fill it up together. So... I'm just chuffed and with the roses. He, just, he didn't have to give me anything. I just liked being in his presence. I mean, he could have just given me the roses and I would have been, you know, made up. But he gave me the book and then he cried. <laughs> I'm so emotional. No, it's lovely. He's um, he's definitely a lovely guy and I'm super happy. But I've got to bed now because tomorrow me and my friend Stuart in central London. At about four, we're going to go for afternoon tea in a really nice place called Bill's. And uh, then my parents are coming over at 7.30. Then I've got Thursday off and then Friday I've got business meetings and stuff. <sighs> Back to work. So yeah. Uh, awesome. Awesome Valentine's. I'm so happy. So yeah. But um, like and subscribe. I'm off to bed now. But I'll see you soon. I'm really going to do this over time when I run on time. I'm always a few minutes late. My my roses though are opening lovely. So I read the thing about how to keep your roses fresh which came with them yesterday. So I'm going to keep them fresh but now I'm off to Bill's which is a nice kind of cafe in London. But look at the weather! It's minging. It's getting sunny. It's blue sky over there but it has been raining. It's quite black in the distance. The nice sun makes my hair look golden. Um, but I am going to take my umbrella again if I can find it. My room is a total tip. I really need to just have a day, another day. Just sort of memory mark. Anyway, I'm going to find my brolly and then I'm going to get going. My friend Stuart, I've come to see. Hello. Hello. G'day. Stuart has his own channel. What's his channel called? My channel? On uh, YouTube? <laughs> Roy Ryan, I think it is. It's just Roy. Yeah, Roy Ryan. That's me. So, Stuart and I have come to Bill's, which is a really nice sort of, um, it just says cocktails. No, oh, just Bill's. Just Bill's. Bill's. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. So it's got this really, really nice place, and we just, what did you have? You had scones. Oh, yeah. Love the scones. Love and Earl Grey. Proper, the proper massive cheap oh, yeah. one as well. I know, right? I've it's had like four cups out of it. It's fantastic. No, and it's I'm, not. I mean, I'm, I've gone proper English. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually Australian. But um, but if um, I've gone proper English, I now drink Earl Grey I tea. I drink Earl Grey as well. Yeah. But you don't, you have... don't have Earl Grey tea in Australia. Australia you have really yeah. tea. No. Well, not like posh people have Earl Grey tea. Do you get, can you get like English breakfast? Yeah, you can. Yeah. But English breakfast is not called English breakfast. It's just tea. It's just tea. You film me that? Yeah, sure. So, so I, I had a um a cocktail which was um just peachy bellino. <laughs> just just a sake with a strawberry. No peach, anyway. And I had that and I had wild mushroom soup, which was so good. Because it's quite cold today, so I thought I'd warm up. It's so pretty in here, we've got chandeliers, we like proper like candelabras on the tables. Real, real candles, not in the candelabra. It's very, it's very Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? Yes, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe after. And there's the beast. <laughs> this is the beauty. But you know, you know when there's people they dress up in their uniforms and they go jousting. You know, they dress up and they, they pretend they're in a war and they go jousting with swords and they fight each other. They dress up, I don't know, but then they go and have like a banquet meal and that looks like a banquet, like where they eat afterwards. Right. Celebrate. Their victory on the field. Sword fighting. You 
know what you know what I mean. I, I, I don't. You could be referring to a lot of stuff. You know when people they get into like a group and they dress up in medieval gear. And oh, like, oh wait, yeah, you're talking about. Uh, I thought it was glam but that's just glam. No, oh you know man, I had a I had a mate who was like heavily role, involved with it. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it's it's a role play. Yeah, it's like a role play. Yeah, right. Not I can't remember what it's called. Play, like a, a fighting sword. Yeah. Maidens. And yeah. Like swords and knights and horses. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forget what it's called. Yeah. Something like that. Something. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Please smash the thumbs button if you enjoyed and subscribe for more.